G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again. Yep, just smashed out, just smashing out a second one right here. This is from one of my favourite video games that they've ever made for Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. This is the Gaming Greats six-inch line, or in this case, probably eight-inch, seven and a half-inch line. Number four, and this is your Wookiee sidekick, one of your sidekicks. This is Zalbar. Yeah, I do remember having him in my... I managed to play, I'll just quickly say, yeah. Um, yeah, I played this game twice. But you you just you determine the outcome of the game. You either go good or go bad. And like on this one and Knights of the Old Republic 2, I played it twice again. And I did a bit of cheating with the walkthrough books. I managed to score them. But yeah, you go mentally bad, no incredibly good in both sides so there we go there we are and he is it's i thought oh, why bring him what about the other ones <coughs> it was good to have a wookie in the in the show in the show in the game yeah so this is basically a c a, a chewbacca with a strange looking bandolier and i'll show you some weapons in a minute so yeah that's him standing like so and that's this giant sword huge blade it's probably it's itself probably six inches itself maybe just a bit under and all this ornate stuff on it not very wookie-ish but you gotta remember this is thousands of years before we see wookies but anyway it could be bound in some Bark or whatever, and of course, the iconic, and this time easier to put together, Bandolier. Yep. I think my 40th anniversary one just kept falling off the, this crossbow bit just fell off and fell off, and I'm like, you bastard. But this one seems to hold true, and this guy stands true, so maybe it's a better mould. I don't know. Different paintwork, lighter brown. And this, so a utility strap here, and on this nose, it comes with a very malleable, very rubbery sort of thing. And I'll see if I can do it. This is how I'm going to do it. And this sort of the holster of the bandolier, like so, if I can. Held the full. There we go. So yeah. And noticing these hands are quite, you know, this one not so. This one's not for, definitely for holding a blaster. But this one definitely can spread apart quite well. Put a bit of strength into it and you'll hold it. And again, that's holding, that's oh, very jittery. So there we are, <coughs> Zalbar. It's pretty much all one colour, there's no secondary colour. I think Chewbacca has a few in both solo do you think he looks the same so i think the body's the same maybe if they change the facial sculpt just a little maybe i don't know i just he doesn't look like chewbacca to me eyes nose more prominent jaw but you know i could be wrong and probably am it's the same one same one they use for solo same one they use for 40th anniversary and so on so on why not just remake repack and remake the same stuff <clears throat> but and different paint so how about sort of Darth Malak yeah Hasbro if you watch this I doubt it Darth Malak one of the cell caths yeah you've done Revan and of course we've had um Darth Nihilus from uh Knights of the Old Republic 2, so how about Darth Sion and a couple of them, HKs, <clears throat> lots of them. There's so many Knights of the Old Republic figures you should make. That'd be great if you could, of course. you. Whatever new gaming greats one you're going to have next, you know, I don't know, another Stormtrooper of some kind from Battlefront. Who knows? Anyways, most of these are looking good. I'm quite happy. All right, that's about it. All right, guys, I'm back to work and 
maybe the last video of the year, don't know. Let's see how we go and see what's in the stores. Otherwise, wish you all a Merry Christmas and to all a good night.